everyone and welcome to a new video. If you're new here, I'm Laura. This is a new gardening job. The first thing I do is get the front lawn tidied. As you can see, there's not really much to it. So I start off with the, the strimmer. I get the strimmer out and give it a strim of the edges. Once the strimming's done, I get my leaf blower and just give all the grass clippings a leaf blower back onto the lawn to then pick up with the mower, which is the next job. Now it's leaf blown, I get my mower and just quickly go over and give it a cut. Now this front lawn does need a new edge creating on it. As you can see, it's very, very much growing over onto the block pavers. Now I don't actually have one of those lawn edging machines. I do have a half moon that I was thinking of using too create a new edge. Now for those of you who are gardeners especially in the UK do you use those lawn edging machines because I'm in two minds whether to get one I'm, I'm not sure I mean I don't really know how much they are I've not really looked much into it I was thinking of getting one depending on how much they are the only thing is I probably wouldn't use it all that often as I don't have many lawns that really need edges creating on them so yeah, I just wanted to get your thoughts and ideas if you think I should look into getting one, especially um, if they are good. But um, I was going to use the half moon to create a new edge on that lawn. Uh, what you also saw me do was weeding through the pots around the front um, as well. They needed the quick going through. And now that they've done, I've moved on to the back. I've got my strimmer out and I'm just giving the whole back garden a good strim. Now this back garden has had a bit of work done. I came with my dad and brother, I think it was one evening it was, to uh, basically turf this back bit. I'll show you, I'll insert some photos to show you how it looked before, but they weren't very happy with how it was before with all the block pavers and walls, but they weren't, they weren't very impressed, so they just wanted it re -turfed. So uh, I'll insert some photos so you can see how it looked before and how it looks now. But yeah, my dad and brother came over a weekend to get it all prepared and then I came on a Monday night with them and just to help lay the turf. Took us till about nine o'clock at night that night. <laughs> it was a very long day. Before I went on to leaf blowing and cutting the grass, I got me hedge cutters, me little uh, cordless he hedge cutters, and just started cutting all the shrubs and li little bits of hedges that needed doing. So this video was filmed back in, I think it was July actually. Now I've actually caught up with all the videos that I had filmed back then. So. From now on, the videos that you will see are going to be just as I filmed them, so give or take a week, just so it's in keeping with the time of year that we're in. I just wanted to say a huge thank you for all the support of my last video. I was not expecting it and I'm still quite shocked to see how many new subscribers I've gained, so thank you very much. Whether you just watch my videos or if you like and comment on them or even subscribe to my channel, I do very much appreciate it. I also want to give a special thank you to all my channel members for your continuous support. I really do appreciate it. And if you do fancy supporting the channel, um, giving a little extra support, then please do have a look into becoming a channel member. Anyway, enough of my blabbering and uh, let's get on with the video.
when I first came to look at this garden, um, they did tell me that one of the main things they wanted, as well as the grass cut obviously, was this cotoneaster decorative hedge, just to be kept trimmed. When uh, the husband was able to get out and about in the garden, this was always kept tidy. So yeah, that's what I do every time I see a bit of the cotoneaster growing and I think it needs a bit of a trim, I'll always just quickly get me little cordless hedge cutters and just give it a whip over, which is handy with the cordless ones because like I said, so lightweight and bish bash bosh, it's done. <laughs> Now I'm giving this rhododendron a trim. Um, it is growing over onto the lawn and he wanted me just to cut it back a little bit. Um, I did this, like say I filmed this in June, July, so if you do want to trim your azaleas and rhododendrons, as long as it's not cutting them too far back, um, definitely recommend doing them in June, July. Although the crazy thing is it's been quite cold and mild here um, where I am and uh, they've actually flowered again. <laughs> Um, in August, which is something I've never seen before, so uh, yeah, there was a few flowers on them. I think it was middle of, to the end of August. So yeah, that was uh, quite a shot. That shows you how uh, how different the weather's been. Now that everything's trimmed up, I do get the leaf blower and start leaf blowing everything onto the lawn. Just again, I can pick up with the mower. Now that that's done, it's time to get the mower back out and give the back lawn a cut. This is the new area that has been turfed. It is a different height to the rest of the lawn because this is actually the first time it was cut since being laid. This new bit of turf I lifted up onto the high setting and then sort of over time I will start to reduce the height. But yeah, that's what you see me doing here. I do go over it a couple of times. A little bit of a story with this um, new turfed area. Up until the point of actually re-turfing it, we did have quite a bit of rain, so we thought, oh, this will be perfect time to lay some new turf, and then that way the rain can, you know, keep it watered. You haven't got mired too much about watering it every day, because um, I'm sure you know with new turf you've got to keep it wet, otherwise it dries off quite easily. Well, anyway, as soon as we lay the, the turf, which actually is quite one of my favourite jobs to do when I'm helping out landscaping, Usually if um, they're laying new turf, they'll ask me if I've got any free time, if I can come and help them. So they usually leave me to roll all the turf out, which is what I did, and then they do all the bits and bobs. Anyway, so as soon as we laid the turf, we gave feet a watering in. And quite literally, I think it must have been the day after, the sun came out and that was it. We had um, very dry weather for about four or five weeks, so there was absolutely no rain. Um, so what I did was um, I can't, I'd come up sort of before or after work and just give the turf and water for them. Um, I didn't charge them for it or anything. I, I, I didn't want it to die off, so I did make sure to come and help keep keep on top of the watering. Um, luckily, the daughter also let me know that she'd come up as well, so we took it in turns. She did she did some days and I did others. 
and then they brought a sprinkler so that really saved saved a lot of time and we basically did that until the new turf set root and didn't require as much watering once the mowing's done i give it a final leaf blow which i didn't film and then bob's your uncle the garden's all tidy this is the front garden all tidy all the pots have been weeded yeah right i'll show you the back that's the back garden all finished so the grass has been cut I've cut this new turf on the high setting, that's why it's just a different height to the rest of the lawn. I've trimmed this bit of a head and a few shrubs up here. It's just in time because it's now starting to rain, so I'm getting absolutely soaked. <laughs> I've trimmed a couple of the rodas just off the lawn here, which is fine to do in June, July. And um, just to, because they were growing right onto the lawn, so I just cut them back. Leaf blown around everywhere and I've given this bit of a decorative head a trim get that tidied and yeah that's pretty much it let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed watching me do this garden this is a new client i've been coming here for the past four or five months right i'll do a bit of an outro and then uh, well let's get a move on because it's <laughs> i'm getting wet right speak to you soon Okay, so that's this job all completed. I can't do anything more in the garden. It has now started to rain, which actually they gave it outright. They said 12 o'clock he said we'd get some rain and it is now 12 o'clock. Excuse how I am. I've just jumped to my van because it's all, yeah. So that's it for this job. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments again if uh, you'd like me uh, to show you this garden again in the future. There are a few other shrubs and things that I do want to trim. So if you want me to bring you along, let me know. Right, thank you all for watching. Please take care. Um, there's Bailey. A bit stinky, she's a bit wet. <laughs> right, speak to you soon. Everyone take care. Bye.